Hello, uh, my name is David Nobe. Uh, some people call me Nobby, um, but some people call me David. Uh, I come from Sydney. I'm the creative chairman of Droga5, uh, which is uh, an, an independent agency that was set up by David Droga in New York about seven years ago. And prior to that, I was, um, I was on the creative board of Saatchi and Saatchi, and I worked in Australia, I worked in the States, and worked in lots of different places. But this is my first time in Cape Town which is, I'm looking out the window, it's raining, but um, it's been an amazing week. And uh, I've worked with some, some really exciting uh, uh, people from South Africa, including Tony Granger and Jan Jacobs and Porky. So it's something I've wanted to do for a long time. So I'm very pleased to be here. Um, the first category I was gonna talk about was uh, the integrated uh, campaign, um, which is something that all the jury chairs um, uh, voted on and um, look it's it's always in, in some ways it's the hardest thing to judge because it's got the most moving pieces um, uh, you know I think a lot of I've judged integrated a lot before and I think a lot of a lot of people misunderstand integrated in the sense they just think it's a lot of matching luggage it's a lot of things that look the same uh, which is not what it's about it's actually in many ways it's the opposite of that it's about lots of different things playing to their own strengths and some building up some kind of conversation. Um, and we saw a lot of work, um, you know, we saw a lot of case studies, a lot of long case studies. I mean, ultimately, um, we did give a Grand Prix um, and it went to uh, SAB uh, and Carling Black Label for the work they did around Be The Coach. Um, and and I've got to say, when you, when you get to Grand Prix level, uh, it has to be unanimous. Um, it's one of the tough things with, with, with chairing juries. Sometimes, you know, you do end up late into the night. Um, and I think that's why you're here. I mean, I think that's actually, people pay a lot of money to enter these things, people put a lot of work into it, and it's something we don't take lightly. And when you get to Grand Prix, I think the judges in the room all have a, a strong point of view on, on what a Grand Prix is about. And um, look, I think, in, in my opinion, a, a bronze should mean a lot. Um, a bronze shouldn't be something you just give away lightly. So if you start there, you can imagine um, a Grand Prix is something really that goes beyond anything you've kind of, you've seen before. And also I think the most important thing for me with a Grand Prix um, is it's work that actually moves the industry in some way. And, and by that I mean when I think of the great Grand Prix at Cannes, uh, they inform something. You know, you went home and you said, you know, I'm going to talk to my clients a little bit differently tomorrow or I'm going to think a little bit differently. And that for me is what a Grand, Grand Prix is about. And I thought what was interesting, I mean, there's a huge amount of football stuff that we've seen before. Um, there's a huge amount of stuff around teams. Um, look, I think the power of this thing was the reality of it, you know. Um, it, it, there's, there's a lot of sketchy token stuff that you see in this space um, with a lot of you know, strangely inflated numbers. Um, but this was something that just felt, it felt like it was, it was, all the dots joined up. There was an insight about the way that South Africans feel about their teams. There was an insight about um, the frustration they had around coaches. The activation side of it was, was really powerful. Um, the social side of it was really powerful. So I think to be a Grand Prix, everything has to be at the highest level. And, and often we see work that you think, well, you know, the thinking was good, but the execution let it down or vice versa. So. Um, the Carling work, it got the Grand Prix. I think it's well deserved. Um, as I said, it, it, it wasn't a huge debate on the jury because I think um, there was quite a lot of air between it and the other work. Um, and I think the guys that did it should be proud. South African sports fans love two things, soccer and Carling Black Label. It's South Africa's biggest beer. And when soccer fans crack open a Carling Black Label and watch a game, chances are they're watching Kaiser Chiefs and Orlando Pirates. They're South Africa's biggest soccer clubs. But Carling Black Label noticed that the fans were getting more and more frustrated with the coaches. The fans believed they knew their teams better than the coaches. So we gave the power to South African fans by creating the Carling Black Label Cup. The fans could pick the players for their teams. The fans could make a live substitution on the day of the game. For the first time in soccer history, the fans could literally be the coach. 
we launched the campaign in TV, press, radio and online. Soccer fans immediately began voting for the players they wanted in the team by using the unique code under the cap of their Carling Black label. The only thing a fan needed to cast a vote and become the coach was the one thing South African fans already had, a mobile phone. We designed and built a unique mobile voting platform. We built a website where fans could see their teams and share it on Facebook and Twitter. And after seven weeks of intense voting, the teams were announced, as selected by South African fans. The campaign ignited fierce debate in the media. Even the coaches got involved. One thing wasn't up for debate. South African fans loved the idea. We received over 10.5 million votes in seven weeks. Over 85,000 fans attended the game, with millions more watching on TV. Thousands of fans used their phones during the match to vote for the life substitutions. The Carling Black Label Facebook page grew by 450%, and our following on Twitter grew by 600%. Over 83 million rands worth of PR was generated for Carling Black Label. The first Carling Black Label Cup was decided by a dramatic penalty shootout. And thanks to Carling Black Label, the fans finally had the chance to be the coach.